you know, I wonder what the deal is here. This is a lot of yep. <clears throat> so what's up with this uh, gear here? It's frozen solid. Okay, well, it's either they put together wrong or something's in there, but this was that motor that was rebuilt that was supposed to run. They don't run. Yeah. This is just one of the many more issues. So, funny thing, we took it apart and my comment says, well, at least you got an oil pump to save one thing out of the motor. You grabbed the hole and it didn't work, so you couldn't even save the oil pump. So basically, you got cases starting over. So, I thought it would be kind of fun. You see, that will not move for nothing. No. It's and it's got a free flow. That motor would have lunched in a heartbeat. So, what I was going to do, just for the heck of it, is start loosening it up and see if it's simply over tightened with wrong gaskets or if there's metal in there. I'm curious if it's ever been off. We'll find out here in a minute. So, put your thumb on there, I'll get the right allen. And uh, we will start loosening up, see if it starts to turn, and we'll see what kind of uh, situation it is. Burden of proof. Okay, see if you can turn it. I mean, put some effort into that baby. All right, all right. Now Nothing. let me crack these loose. Oh my lord, that's Nothing. way too tight. Oh my goodness, that's way too tight. We're talking inch pounds, not foot. Oh, there we go. Now I got the gear to move. See, you never put an oil pump together like that, ever. And it's sticky ever. still, feel that. Yeah, there may be other things wrong, so we're going to go ahead and take this apart. we got a rebuild kit for the oil pump. Yeah, hopefully the oil pump's not damaged. And if it is, that's something we'll just have to deal with. Four bolts here to hold the outer cover, and then you got the inner pump itself. This is just a cover where your lines hook on. Right. Feed tube. Then you've got drive gears which pump the oil. And you've got bigger gears that are return gears that pull the oil out. You always want to pull more oil out than you're putting in. That creates a scavengering effect. Like a slurping on the bottom of a straw when you get an empty bottle. Empty glass. And that's what you want. You don't want there to be the other way. Because the oil runs right out the pipes, ruin the motor and heartbeat. So let's see what we got here. Looks like definitely it was tight. Okay, now let's see if it'll turn. Pretty free? Yeah, it's, I still got sticky spots. So sticky spots. I, I can feel the, the see, it was, probably got the, It's getting hung up. And yeah, probably got the wrong gas to start with. I would guess. Now, obviously, it was cranked down and never torqued. You must torque. I'll see if we can get this um, key out of here, shine the light. There's a little bitty clip in there, and he's Murphy beats you up when you pull him out. And actually, interesting is this is the wrong key in here, by the way. Mm. This is the one that belongs here. Jeez. This one. Look at this. This is interesting. Half that key is broken, gone. See it? Wow. It's supposed to have two eyelets. Yeah. See that? Because somebody didn't know what they are doing. This goes in here. This endless key goes here. They were in backwards. Just, so, like, just like the pistons. Like the pistons, like the crank, everything <laughs> like else. Like everything else was wrong. Everything else. They, they, they need to work at McDonald's. <laughs> and let me know because I'm not going to that McDonald's. Right, this is not good, yeah. This is not good. So, we're so gonna this have piece getting... is somewhere in the engine. Yeah, that's what so I feel sticky in there. It's we have to thoroughly clean every hole there is so it don't come to haunt us. So let's give me some light. How interesting this is. There she went. Yep, and it sure it is. is. Look at this. This is the key that goes on the outside because you can't have it. Nothing but a simple key. You cannot put eyelet keys on the outside because, first of all, there's no room for it to run. Get hung up on the gear. Right there. Yeah. This one fits. Had them in backwards. An eyelet key won't fit. 
Yeah, it's pretty interesting. All right, let's go ahead and see if the gears will come out. And if they do, fine. We definitely want to keep our eye open for that little piece because somewhere it's one thing that we're rebuilding the motor, but some of these oil galleys we mm -hmm. want to blow them real good when we're done because they uh, can hold a particle that will then I can't get that out of there. Mm. Well, that's fine, we'll pull the rest of the pump. Um, they can lay in an oil gallery on a brand new motor, jump out and say, Here I am, and destroy your motor. So we are definitely got to clean everything, just like there's a brand new case, thoroughly. Don't have to break do so. this, break this oil pump down, go through every speck of it, because if we can find that little clip, we need to find that little clip. we got to clean everything with Dawn dish soap, hot Dawn water. Dawn dish soap, some brake clean, and air. A lot of air. Watching out for your eyes. That's amazing. The end is broke off. That's we got to find him. Yeah, one eyelet gone, and that's such a small part that could be anywhere in one of these oil. Yep. And the nice thing is, is there it is, black and white. You see with your own eyes. There's the facts. That is the facts. Okay, so you got the keyway out of there that, that mm -hmm. holds that last gear, right? Right. And we're going to pull this. See, this wasn't even lined up. Look at that. Wow. Turning easier. Yeah, I think maybe McDonald's is a little bit too high tech. <laughs> we may look at um, over in Iowa to use pig farms to clean manure. That may be the way to go. It's pretty disgusting. Pretty disgusting. I got pieces of metal here. Look at this. Is that what we're looking for? No, um, but that's a different piece of metal. Yeah. Man, this is not good, man. I'll take and get this scrubbed up. Oh, absolutely. And then we'll get a little box or something to drop this in. How's that oil pump like? Well, we're going to find out here in a second. See if he looks like he's savable. <clears throat> So the gears is what moves the oil on that pump? Yes. This, the small gears are on the outside. Small gears are on the outside. They pump the oil. Then you got the big gears on the inside trying to pull more oil away than little ones can supply. That's the theory behind it. Like I said, sucking the bottom of a glass or slurping. You know, putting a little bit in, take, trying to take more out, right. that's how that functions. Without that, you get an overflow. Um, I don't think they're galled up or anything. It might be usable. But we'll, we'll get her washed up good and then look. I think, well, we'll have to just wash up and drop the gears and make sure. And we have to break this all down. So, all right, yeah, I'd put this all in a box for now and sit on it. Remember that little piece we've got to have. That is what happened. And it hadn't even ran. Thank goodness this motor never ran. Look at the scratch marks. Wow. Look at that. That's supposed to be a perfectly smooth. It's supposed to look like this. Wow. But I know a few tricks will take care of that. I'm going to take these over to the sink and scrub everything down with Dawn dish soap. Yep. And, uh, scrub it good. We'll take it from there. Do you want yep. me to do the oil pump too? No, we'll put it in the box and sit and think about that one a little bit. I want right. to break it down and analyze it inside, internally. So that'll be a project of its own. Nice. Yeah. Wow. One more thing we need to pull out of here is this little guy right here. That's a, uh, that might be kind of hard to get out, but uh, that is a, uh, look, I call it a witch's hat, because it's shaped like a witch, witch's hat, and it's got a spring, and what it does keeps contaminants out of going to the tappets, and they're very critical, so we want to take that before we wash it. We're also getting a new breather instead of this plastic one, these can come apart, uh, we'll get a new metal breather. That'll last a lot longer. That way it doesn't come apart and take my engine apart. 
Let's see if this will work. I don't know if I've got my little tool on handy. If this will fit in, we'll, we'll if it'll fit, we'll do it. Oh yeah, that looks good. A little bit overkill, but ready? Yep. No, There she goes. Okay, let me grab this pull out. I'm wondering if there are little pieces in there. It's got a little screen and a spring. Yeah. I call it witch's hat because it looks like a witch's hat. Like that. And your screen goes on top. I've seen people shove them down this way and they have serious problems. That's why I told them back in the days of working at SNS, always says it looks like a witch's hat. You set it in a hole and you put the spring over it. Don't do it any other way. And you can't do it like this. It's interesting. All right, one step closer. I'm going to get this to the bath and we're getting there. Scrub it and blow it out. 